Yo, how's it going gamers? It's your boy Chris here, aka Chris Light Gamer, bring you guys episode 2 of Killstreak Showcase. This week we're going to be looking at the UAV in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I honestly think all you guys know what the UAV does in this game. This game's been out for over a year, so I really do think you guys know. But if you don't, the UAV is just like any other UAV in Call of Duty. It shows you where the enemy is on your radar. But in Advanced Warfare, you're able to put certain modules onto your UAV which makes your UAV a lot more powerful than it was before you put it on these modules. So the modules that I like to put on my UAV is the threat detection and the speed. Now the speed works by just basically making that lap come for the UAV very quickly. I feel like you guys know what that is but the threat detection is basically like a Visa or an Oracle from Call of Duty Ghost. Now this is another video and another point but I just want to go ahead and say I really do hope the Visa comes back in Black Ops 3 because that was an amazing score streak and I just really want to see it come back. But back on to threat detection basically allows you to see your enemies through walls when that UAV ticks and the speed just basically makes that tick happen more which will allow you to see enemies through the wall faster than before if you didn't have speed on and you'll be able to anticipate your opponent's moves because you'll be able to see which corner they're coming if they're pre-aiming etc or if they're not even playing you'll be able to see that as well now these are the two modules I really do like putting onto my UAV, especially when I'm trying to go for a DNA bomb or something like that. I love putting these exact modules onto my UAV. A lot of people like to put the assist points on because when you get a UAV and your teammates get kills, you get some assist points which helps you get that UAV again. I don't really use it because it adds on more points, it adds on like 200 more points to your UAV which is a lot. I don't really like using it, I like the speed and the threat, but it's definitely another option. Another module people use that I think I might actually give a chance is the support module because basically what the support module does is when you die, every single kill you get still counts towards that UAV kill streak. So that means if you put on the support and you have threat detection and you have the speed, every time you die, you will still be on that score streak to attempt to get that UAV, which is kind of awesome in my opinion. Let's say you're going for DNA bombs, because that's basically what you need in this game. If you're going to go for DNA bombs, you need UAVs. Let's say you die, one away from that UAV, you have support on, just go ahead and get that kill. Boom, you have the UAV. Just use that UAV to get onto another streak. I think it could help out. I might try and see how it works out and let you guys know. In the comment section below, let me know what you guys run on your UAVs. And if you do add on the support module and you have the speed and you have the threat detection, it will make the UAV cost 1,050 points instead of 750 without having that support module on. So I really do think that's a lot more than 750. And it's going to take you a long time to get that 1050 points if you're just going straight for kills you're gonna have to be hopping on flags getting kills at the same time doing the whole objective in the whole nine yards well this has been episode two of kill streak showcase if you guys have been enjoying it like i said before show some support down below and as always it's been boy chris here and i'll see you guys later peace out